It's a French classic by composer Eric Satie. The pianist is 16-year-old Ren Berry. I love this piano, it's so beautiful. Ren is a self-taught musician who will graduate next spring from Marcy High School in Claremont, an alternative learning community for students with social and emotional special needs. This piano provides music therapy and an outlet for her to express feelings. So calm and like just like relieved, like all of my like negative emotion and like stress and anxiety goes away and it's great. I love it. It makes me so happy. She loves it. 14-year-old McKenna Stumpo is a freshman at Mission Bay High School, and his lifelong friend and fellow musician, 14-year-old Liam Kett, attends Cathedral Catholic. Together, they used their creative connection to revive this aging Ivers and Pond upright piano. It was headed for the junkyard, but the boys saw something special worth saving. It started as an eighth grade community service project, um, but I think it turned into a lot more than that. It kind of turned into a a passion project. Liam is also an artist who painted the piano with visions of sunshine and scribbles and characters inspired by a mural he loves in Ocean Beach. Art is important to me because it's um, an, an, it's an outlet for my, my emotions. Sun, 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 here we come. The renovated piano is named Here Comes the Sun after the classic Beatles song, and it is now an honorary instrument affiliated with the Sing for Hope organization, a New York City-based nonprofit that uses artists everywhere and of every age to bring hope, healing, and inspiration through art to people who need it most, starting with restored pianos. It just seemed like it was meant to be. Um, and the kids are just in love with it and so grateful. Felicia Feese is the Marcy High School psychologist who learned about Liam and McKenna's Sing for Hope piano in August when the boys had finished their creation. The kids here had been asking, they've been saying, you know, the piano, like, we love playing the piano, but like some of the notes don't sound, it's not in tune, we need another piano. So I, I had it in my mind, I kept hearing them say that, and I heard it was looking for a forever home. And I just was like, that's Marcy. That's Marcy. May Fuentes Lipman is a Marcy student who wasn't comfortable talking to us about the piano. She just wanted to play, and she did. I would hope that the art can inspire them to create and the music they can hear from it will inspire them to listen to music, play music, create music. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun, I say. But this synchronicity of sound made a much deeper spiritual connection too, and not just for the Marcy students. The Beatles were like the soundtrack of my childhood. My dad used to sing, um, here comes the bus, doo 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 doo, when he'd walked us to the bus. Little darling, it's been since it's been here. Felicia Feese lost her father, Luis, just a few weeks ago. He died October 31st, leaving her with a lifetime of love, laughter, and musical memories. She says the piano and its creators have honored her late father and provided some comfort and closure. Here comes the sun, here comes, here comes a, a light in the dark that, that you haven't seen in a while, you know? It, the long, long, cold, lonely winter, it's finally over. It's an uplifting thing to think about. You know, we all have struggles and um, bad days and days where we're not okay. And it's just something to always think about and remember that um, there's gonna be times where, um, you know, the sun is gonna come up and everything's gonna be okay. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.